What's up, guys? This is Multi Intro. Just came back. Uh, go away. Intro. Stop. What the heck? Stop it. Just go. Go back. Go back. Just, okay. Just go die. Nobody likes you. Okay. We're done here. Um. Yeah. There. Yeah. Make your sad wall wall sound. All right. Um. <clears throat> anyway. Uh. What's up, guys? This is Multi Two Four Gaming, and I am here with another Extreme Landings video. And in this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take this plane. Uh, the business jet, RBJ30A, or whatever they feel like calling it. Business jet is what I'm going to call it because I'm stupid. Um, we are going to do the career challenges for the business jet. So, career, business jet. Um, I know a lot of the reasons why people will be here on this video is because of how confusing and difficult it is to do level or uh, section 5. So um, here's a little link to um, the time that we'll be doing that uh, bit. So yeah, you'll probably skip ahead. Here you go. Just click on that thing. Um, and we are going to start from number 1. Uh, what the heck? You guys will not believe what I just found behind my the cushion on this couch okay all right I'm, I'm sorry one second one second right there is a fish hook attached to one of my sister's socks it, it, what the heck is the reason for this gosh that was weird all right wheeling uh the nose gear is not working cover as much space as possible with finding the right balance between the impact speed and the speed necessary to keep the front of the fuselage raised so basically we're gonna end up having to land the plane without the front landing gear which it does seem i do a lot anyway uh regardless of whether it's a challenge or not so here we have our jet and right now i'm just gonna floor the accelerator because um I have no desire to make this longer than it has to be. Uh, so we are flying towards, and I suppose we should get our uh, notification around now, so I'm just going to pull all the brakes back so I can get our landing gear down. There we are. Um, good. Front landing gear is not coming down. Even though we know it's not going to work, let's just humor them by uh, trying to hit the button. Of course, it'll do nothing. But, um, our goal is to go slow, but not too slow that the front hits down fairly hard. We want to be able to land where the fuselage or the front of the plane is still above the ground. So, it's going to have to be super duper smooth. Alright, oops, I just sort of came off course a little bit. Alright, all the way down. And no air brake. Air brake throws your plane down into the ground. Air brake's just to slow you down while you're in the air. Oop. And there we are. Uh, we did do it. Um, but uh, I guess our goal is to stop pretty fast. Uh, no explosion, so that's good. So basically do exactly what I did and you'll do fine. Our next challenge. Follow the path indicated by rectangles and land as quickly as possible wherever you like. So you have to pick... Alright, so basically the goal is to go as fast as you can through these um, these rectangles. you got to be able to maneuver because if you miss one, you're going to have to start the entire thing over again. And it's basically a lost cause. Uh, the tail rudder is extremely, extremely useful in this situation. Uh, whoa! Yeah, you can't let that happen. Um, and then what you're gonna have to do is pick a place to land. So pick the fastest place to land. I believe there might need to be some slowing down going on here. Whoa! That's an interesting looking ocean. Uh, I don't really feel like they put the most detail into the ocean at the current moment. Maybe it's because we're so high off of it. Or I accidentally changed the settings from like fantastic to beautiful. But don't worry, extreme landings will get better. Um, we actually have a new plane, which I'll uh, I'll talk about later in the video. Uh, I was shown by one of my good friends, Noah Brown, and I shall show you the screenshot he sent me. And um, it's uh, another propeller plane. It's like a combination of the fat plane and the and a propeller plane. Okay. Uh, now we just get to go land as quickly as we possibly can. Um. Does this plane have flaps? Oh, oh, we don't want them on. We don't want them down now, though. 
because that'll slow us down. Now, maybe we should land on... We could land on that, but I'm not taking my chances right now. Alright. Uh, we should probably put the landing gear down. I mean... Does that sound like a good idea to anyone? Woo! Land, 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 land. And... Touchdown. And we gotta stop. This plane is usually extremely good at stopping. Okay, uh, so we didn't get my high score, but we still did do it. Maybe it's because I did land on the bridge last time. Um, now I have no idea what we're doing in this case, uh, because I didn't look. Uh, let's pause it. Alright, touch the ground and stop in the shortest possible space. Okay. So what you want to be doing is you want to be going as slow as possible when you hit the ground so you can stop as quick as possible. So, uh, we really have no rush in this challenge. But, um, at about two, I'll start slowing down. Alright. Slowing down, flaps down. Even though you really, you do not need them with this plane. Um. Okay, we are going extremely slow. How is this plane staying in the air? Alright, yeah, something's up with the water. I've done something to the settings to make the water look like that. Um, so I will try and fix that in a second. Whoa! Let's not hit, let's not do that. Woo! Alright, slow down. We're gonna go as slow as we possibly can without touching the ground. So it's gonna force us to touch. Now, air brake. Give it everything we got. And slow down in the shortest possible space. There we go. And I think I even beat my high score. That's pretty good. All right. Yep. All right. We got three. Uh, three airplanes. I don't know whether that's three airplanes or six. Probably three. Um. Anyway, next. Okay. Now this is the doozy. If that's how you say that. Um. Okay. So this is not. Wait. Let's see. Alright, our goal is to land as fast as we possibly can. So we're going to floor it until we get there. And then we're going to hit the ground and stop the plane. My high score is 1 minute and 1 second. So that's what we're trying to beat. So, yeah, this water's definitely screwed up. I don't know what I've done. Alright, looks like we got a crosswind too. Alright. Flaps down, gear down, gear down, I said. And dealing with this crosswind a little bit. There we yeah. go. Slow us down, slow us down. Stop the plane. Stop the plane. Stop the plane. No, we're not going to beat my high score. Darn it! That's annoying. Though we still did pass the challenge, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I didn't beat my high score. Okay, so this here. This is the hard one. Um, this is the one that a lot of people have trouble with. Um, and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I have not passed it yet. But we are going to. And I think I've gotten pretty close. I've gotten within um, five seconds of that. So we're going to give it a go. And, and uh, it, the truth is it's going to take more than one try. But we're going to give this a go. So floor it at the beginning. All right. Got to floor it. Wait for like just try and take off at the fastest possible moment. There we go. Gear up and bring this down to A. Okay, after you've done that, check your engines to make sure you're not losing any more oil. And then you gotta go here and you gotta take it up to 4,000. So 4,000. Okay, and you gotta watch your speed and watch your altitude. You're trying to get here before this gets to 50, okay? So now we're going fast enough, we're gonna take this up to 5,000. And we're losing speed now, but we're gaining altitude a lot, a lot faster. So, uh, and we're already to 50.
Alright, so what you're trying to do is to floor it. Okay. So just get going as fast as you possibly can. Now try and take off. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, gear. And then bring this down to A. Alright, whatever that is. Now engines, 11.5. Make sure that isn't changing or going down. We're going to go here to autopilot and take this up to 5,000. Alright, and we're going to watch the altitude go up and the speed to make sure we don't get 100, uh, under 130. We want to get this to 3,000 uh, something. Okay, see, now we got to bring the altitude. Ah, wrong way. No, we're going to stall. Go. Down to A. All the way up. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. And eight. Darn it. What? 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 Oh, wait. So I have to get a faster than one minute? I got exactly one minute. No way. And that, people, is why there's absolutely no point in even attempting to do this challenge. Because cause logic and because... It says you need to get past 3,500 feet, and you actually have to get past 3,800 feet. And then, it's like, oh, screw you. If you get, you know, past the challenge, it still tells you you didn't pass it. And to be honest, you can get to the next level without getting any planes from this, as you, you need these, uh, those thingy-majiggers there, uh, as this is a voiceover. Um, I can't use my mouse, but yeah. Basically, that's why there is absolutely no point in even trying, uh, because it'll fail you if you get it right, and it'll fail you if you get it wrong. So, that's my piece, and on to the next challenge. And just as a friendly thing that Extreme Landings decided to do, it decided to completely um, crash on my computer, which is really annoying. Anyway, here is the route. This is the last challenge, and what we're going to be doing is flying in the middle of these boxes. And you're just trying to get as close to the center of them as possible to get the number of points necessary to beat the challenge. So, these are crazy maneuvers. I don't know what you'd have to be avoiding. Maybe a tornado or something to ever have to, you know, use these maneuvers. Ah, I'm having some trouble. Alright, we're going to slow down a little bit. There's no need to go fast in this one, um, as it's not timed. Uh, 
after this, I think I'm going to make a video of me just playing some Minecraft, because i got to blow off some steam from that last challenge. I really feel like I want to uh, grab that sock with the... It's sitting right there, I'm looking at it, and, like, kill something with it. But, um... Yeah. Anyway, staying in the center, we've got our suggestions, and it looks like we are obviously not taking the recommended landing strategy that a GPS would give you. But, who cares? And after this challenge, to blow off a tiny bit of steam from that last one, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna completely blow this plane up. Whoa! I'm coming in a little hot. Just a bit. Whoa! Okay, yeah. Get, let's get our gear down. I wasn't, uh, paying attention. So, let's just see if we can land this plane before... Ten. ...ending up off of the railroad. <laughs> see, I'm not even thinking straight. I just called the runway a railroad. Eh. Stop, you darn... there. Alright. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I did promise you guys that, of course, perfect challenge without any effort, darn that last one, that I would show you um, the new plane that my friend sent me a picture of. Let's take a look here, Noah Brown. And up here he sent me a screenshot of the new plane. Um, it is not for Mac yet, it is still only for iOS devices and Android. But look at it. It looks like it may be able to land on water, and it's got four props like the old glory. Um, and it looks like it would be extremely entertaining to blow up. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I shall see you next time. Over and out.